Stage four of the Santos Tour Down Under, taking the riders away from Unley, not too far away from the headquarters hotel in downtown Adelaide, bound for Campbelltown via the Corkscrew Hill, 129 kilometers. A gentle rollout from Unley, a few hangos in the town overnight, 100,000 people enjoying the Unley Street Party. But now it was all action as the riders started their attacks. And the first man to go, and brave it was, the man looking like the mummy, Benoit Conafoy, quickly joined by five other riders, including Australians, Miles Scottson, be number 121, and also Nick White from the UniSA team. The first sprint in Achunga, well, they didn't sprint, they just got together, got down to work to open up a big gap over the peloton. No real interest in the sprint points uh, there at Achunga, and so the race leader's jersey still on the shoulders of Peter Sagan his victory in Uradla the day before. They continue to take out the sprints. This was the other direction through Achunga after 59 kilometres. Thomas de Ghent uh, rolling over the line there in first place. The herd were restless because the gap had gone out to five and a half minutes. So the chase was on in the peloton as our leaders swung through the German town of Handorf in the Adelaide Hills. They've always saluted this race and a big crowd there, but then the riders were now contending onto the actual twists and turns around Cudley Creek and the six-man breakaway was breaking up. As they hit the slopes of the corkscrew, the peloton started to break into little pieces. Walt Pauls from Team Sky on the attack, Michael Woods, Richie Port and George Bennett tracking the move and they were looking to get rid of the race leader, Patrick Bevan. Four big names, four big ambitions, and they were getting clear of the field on this vicious climb. Once over the top, it was only five and a half kilometres to the finish. George Bennett taking them up towards the summit, followed by Richie Port, and then followed by Michael Woods, and tagged on the back was Wout Poles of Sky. Well, George Bennett, as he took them through the Subaru, king of the mountain, and onto the descent, newly paved road, perfect for flying down at high speeds but the bunch, including the race leader, were in hot pursuit. Surprisingly, they hadn't got away. There was a touch of wheels there as Michael Woods corrected his line and forced Richie Port to correct his, but safe they were on the descent. A group of 20 had got together and they were closing in on the leaders as they swung into the home straight. They were all together. Sanchez breaking away from the front as he done for the last three days of this race and I'm afraid for the last three days always being caught in sight of the line the ochre jersey of Patrick Bevan and this time looking good before the wind went by him on the left and the champion of South Africa Daryl Impey got his win the defending champion of this race grabbing a 10 second win bonus and with it a real shot of defending his lead in this race when it ends on Sunday. Not surprisingly, he was absolutely delighted. Well, on the line, it was Impey by a length over race leader, Patrick Bevan, more bonus seconds for him. Luis Leon Sanchez getting in there for third, keeping himself in contention to still win this race overall on Willunga Hill on Sunday afternoon. A punch of the skies and a show of delight, MP was back. Uh, it's uh, yeah, fantastic to win today. We knew it was going to be a hard, hard one to win, but uh, you know the guys put their faith in me. Luke, Luke did a massive job in the beginning there, bringing their break back, and Happy as well. And then Maddie and those guys are just looking after me. And then our youngster, Lucas Hamilton, he just really rode like a true professional at the end, committed 100%. And I knew if I lined up Paddy Bevan, I'd have a good shot at winning. So... Yeah, super happy to win today. Look, there's, there's still two types of guys in this race. There's the sprinter, there's a sprinters who can climb, who's, who's Daryl, who I've got to keep an eye on, and then you've got Richie, who's still going to let it rip on Malanga. We all know he's going to do it, and we all know how good he is, but uh, I've got a nice little buff over him now, so it's about managing both parties and uh, trying to come away and win this bike race. Great confidence here. This man, though, who wants to defend his title, and nobody's ever done that in this race before. Daryl MP, very, very happy with his day. The overall lead, though, day three in that ochre leader's jersey. He really is now looking like the man to beat.